जय माता दी हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर चैनल द कल्ट ऑफ रेसलिंग सो इन टूडे वीडियो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सम लेटेस्ट डब्ल्यू डब्ल्यू न्यूज सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल द कल्ट ऑफ रेसलिंग हिट द बेल आइकन एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो सो टुडे इज आवर टॉपिक इज अबाउट ब्रे वायट एंड सम हिडन टैलेंट फ्रेस इज ब्रे वायट सब हिडन टैलेंट्स हैज बीन रिवील सम details about brevard life and his story and it is his wrestling career so let's talk about he was such a creative guy former wwe star open about brevard's hidden talent so let's get started ec3 that's right ec3 recently recall that brevard had a flair for a painting and that his wife expressed her desire to have his work showcased at an art gallery and after that the tragic passing of wyatt as a ultimately at the age of 36 in august due to a heart attack left everyone shell shocked his colleagues and his fans came out in a drove to share their heartfelt tribute and pay respect to him while it's a been a couple of months since then fans still have a difficulty processing his passing and after that on the latest episode of sports kida the wrestling outlaws bray wyatt former colleague ec3 open about a hidden talent of the late great star and after that the nwa champion disclosed that apart from a being a visionary wrestler wyatt was a good art painting and that he was a stun to see many of his work and after that I don't want to talk too much about this because it's family thing but Vindham Bray was a painting picture and nobody knew like an artist this amazing pictures like looking of them I was like to who painting this and it was him he had the hidden talent or this hidden drive he was such a creative guy he painted these amazing pictures and after that EC3 also added that White's wife Jojo Afterman wanted to bring together all of his husband's work and present them into an art gallery and after that there was an idea from his wife like somebody some day i want to do an art gallery of his work i'm like i want to help i think that the most awesome thing we could do and that could also substitute in a something where we can all get together celebrate him as a person said ec3 and after that there is something a new guy and especially his old guy brevard his former opponent chris jericho had said something about this and chris jericho says brevard was unlike anyone else in the business a few weeks back in an interview with chris jericho explained that the thing that set brevard apart of others from into this business was the sheer creativity the ocho added that the former wwe champion vision has unparalleled and his ability to craft compelling character was unparalleled bray was like fortis of creativity he had so many ideas that were just pouring out of him at all times he was a very unique and that's why he did so good was successful because no one really thought about wrestling the way that he did with the character that he created and the thing that he committed to that no one else could really man really make work and sit chris cherico that's right they have a very good friends i think it's safe yeah that's right it's a safe to say brave wide incredible body of his work will continue to inspire a generation of performers who want to make it big in the business that's right because i think uh jerigo and brevard is a is a former competitor is a former uh thing that we have we have a future about this but i think skills jerigo revealed that brevard his masterpiece appearance and his creativity is very fantastic his art of his body of his tattoo is amazing you see that and we move on to our next uh, main topic and it's what bring up blair and jed carrill so let's get started bring up blair shares her honest thought on Jade Cargill joining WWE 
and Brinker Blair vs Shared, Brinker Blair has commented on Jade Cargill making to jump WWE following her successful career in AEW. The two women are often compared to each other, and many fans have expressed interest in seeing a match between them. The EST of WWE is one of the top female star in the entire industry and making history multiple times. Meanwhile, the former TBS champion had a dominant run, run in AEW with a lengthy winning streak. And in a recent interview of Prox, Bianca Blair said that it was a huge goal of her to represent herself and her culture in WWE. And with Jared Cargill joining the company, it would be get even bigger. She also addressed a potentially match against the latter. And after that, it has always been a huge goal and mission to mine to bring myself and my culture of representation to WWE. And it's going to get bigger with Jade coming into the picture. There are so many amazing possibilities that can come out and a single match, tag team match going from being one of the first black females to main event of WrestleMania and now having Jade come in and it's just showing how much WWE is involving and continued involved said Bianca Blair. And I think the, the match between Bianca Blair versus Jade Cargill is just a dream match. And Bianca Blair says it's a great to be one of the forces of WWE. The multi-time women's champion had has had a very successful career in WWE, despite being on the main roster. For only not a few years, she has already headlined WrestleMania, which is a huge feat. In some interview, Bianca Blair expressed that it was a great to be one of the top stars in the company. And after that, it's great to be one of the faces, great to be one of the girls that gets to be in the top position, that's right. And we represent it for a while. It would be, yeah, that's right. It would be just so proud of myself with trying to do and the right way. And now I'm just into the point where there's no right way to do it. You just did do a right way and everybody brings a dish on the table. And, and after that, then you can have a whole meat. And that's what we all do. Jade Cargill, listen to the radio superstar show she would like to have to face. I think the most of the female superstar who facing Jade Cargill in the when he returned, and that's it, uh, was WWE. I think Rhea Ripley, Charlotte Flair, Nia Jax, Bianca Blair, Jade Cargill. I think I think there is so much opponent, but I think the main opponent is Bianca Blair, and Bianca Blair is currently on a high test, and she'll undoubtedly get a big welcome from the WWE universe, and wish she makes her much an un- and anticipated return. Who do you think? Who? Yeah, that's right. I'm not asking you. Who do you think who win between Bianca Blair and Jade Cargill if they lock on sounds? Offer in the command section in the below. Please comment on the section on the below. So let's get started on the uh, thing about WWE. We have to say about Benka player and Jade Cargill. I think the match is going to happen at WrestleMania 40. Or I think if the match is going to be happening at WrestleMania 40, is it would be a bigger banger. I think I can see, I can see it's, a, it's a great idea if the match is going to be happen. And talking about the next uh, and the main event news, and that is Jey Uso. So let's get started. Jey Uso sent a two-word message to his fans, shared his incredible video of his entrance. I think Jey Uso and his, his great about things. Jey Uso popularity has risen through the roof in the recent months, especially since he quit the bloodline taking on Instagram. He sent a two-word message to the WWE Universe. Since joining Monday Night Raw, Jey has allied with Cody Rhodes, the main responsibility to bringing the 30 years soul to Red Brand. At Fastlane, Jey and Rhodes become the new undisputed WWE Tag Team Champion by defeating Damien Priest and Finn Balor. And after that, and after that, what just says about his entrance? I'm a vibe, Rod J. Check out the video, and I think the newly crowd tag him champion. His message on Instagram. You can check out his Instagram profile. Before jumping ship from the SmackDown to Raw, J was unsuccessful in these Roman Lomar Reigns at SummerSlam. The match is amazing, but I think uh, J is uh, uh, unbeatable. J, J is unbeatable Roman Reigns who had been cheering on that. The closing moment of the Tribal Chief match saw Jimmy Uso betray his brother and which led to Reigns retaining the undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Jay Spock, Jay Uso spoke highly Jimmy Uso and Solo Sequado despite their own skin differences. At Fastlane, Jay Uso ended up with a winning side as he had and Cody Rhodes become the new tag team champions the same 
can be said for his brother Jimmy. Jimmy, who has once again aligned himself with a bloodline team of the Solo Sikoa for a tag team match against Silent Knight and John Cena. The bloodline duo handed upon the losing side and more snacks and the new is going to be happen. And after that, at the post-show press conference, Jimmy Uso and Solo brother, Jay Spock, highly of the band, made him and Jay was a proud of his stone of stable matches. After that, they have a privilege of sharing the ring with Cena. And after that, he said, to me, seeing him Jimmy Uso wrestling John Cena bring joy to my heart. Solo, Siko, a joy to my heart. Like it's all good here. But like it, there's a step up with a great step on it right now. Right now, man, we are writing the story use. So we don't even know the story. This is the chapter on a raw. J and Raw defended their titles against Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. And I think this is a very good because they retained that. So if you really enjoy the video uh, of my this uh, this, this time, are uh, you enjoyed the Uso run on Raw? Sound of his comment in the section below. Please comment in the section below. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me today in this video, and uh, we see you next video. So, please subscribe our channel, The Cult of Wrestling, and hit the bell icon for the latest news about WWE and professional wrestling. Jai Mataji, Jai Bhagwan, Radha Krishna, Jai Bhagwan, Ganpati, Jai Bhagwan, Mahadev, Jai Bhagwan, Sanatani, Jai Mahadev, Jai Bhagwan, Radha Krishna, Jai Bhagwan, Pajamuli, Thanewa, Jai Bhagwan, Ra.